And this side, welcome back. And today in J Unit Five, we would be covering tagging and filtering. If your task includes writing unit test cases, you might be working with this feature of J Unit Five day in day out. So let's start and let's see how this tagging and filtering works. So tags allows us to categorize test so that we can selectively run or skip them. So here I have written one test class payment tagging test. So this test class contain test case uh, regarding payment. So payment through card, payment through bank. Okay. So like a simple test case at the rate at the at the rate test and you are test case. Okay. Very simple. Now if I want to categorize, hey, all I should be able to group all. Card related test cases, so I can just do add the red tag and give it the any name which I wanted to. So this test case is now grouped with this, or you can say that it is categorized with this tag. Similarly, this test case belongs to a bank related scenario, so I put a tag that hey bank. So let's say if you have hundred test cases like sir like this, so you can use this tag. On each of your test case, depend what tag you want to give, and later we can do filter based on this tag name. If I do search with bank, all the test case which we have annotated with this bank tag will come up, or we can execute them only. So now let's say that so currently I am running this test through IntelliJ. So running this test case through IntelliJ. So this is my We will see that how to run it. So here, if you see in the IntelliJ, we have a way that hey, which tag test case you want to run? So I give only bank. So what it will do is it runs only one test case with bank only runs. It didn't run the card. Okay, only bank. This test case got run. But there are certain rules which we have to follow while giving the name of the tag. The first rule is. The tag must not be null or empty. So, like this is not valid. You can't give empty tag name. Okay. Another is a strip tag must not contain white space. What does a strip tag means? So, see, a strip tag means that the front, the leading, and the trailing white space are removed automatically. Even see, this is valid. Even if you have a white space in the leading of your name and at the trailing of the tag name, that is fine, because internally J Unit Five remove this, strip this tag, means leading and trailing white spaces are removed. So a strip tag must not contain white space, means this is not allowed. Like. Only leading and trail leading and trailing white space. Apart from that, any other white space is not allowed. And leading and trailing white space is also removed internally, even if you don't remove. Okay, so this white spaces are not allowed. Third, strip tag must not contain any reserved characters. So these are some of the reserved characters you should not use within our tag and filtering. Why so? So see, comma, this your uh, bracket close, bracket open, bracket close, and percent or not. These are used in expression. I will tell you now. It's going to our next uh, topic in this one itself, tagging. So these are used for tag expression. So these are not allowed in your tag name. Okay, multiple tags and class tag. So see, here this is my class. Here at top. I have annotated with at the rate tag slow. So now this tag is now associated with each of this test case within this test class. Okay. Now also we can add multiple tag to our test case itself. So this is my one test, right? At the rate test, and this is my test case. So I have annotated with at the rate tag card, at the rate tag visa. So two tags I have given it. Okay. So here, if you notice that ultimately this test case has three tag. Two I have given here at the top of this test case itself, 
and one coming from the class okay the class tag also get associated with each of the test case as i have told you so this one has two tag one is one bank another is this class one slow okay so we can give multiple tags also that's totally fine then tag expression very very important so it is used for filtering the tags so we have topic called tagging and filtering so we have seen how to tag a test case but how to filter that it is through tag expression okay so it's a boolean expression with operators so these are the different operators you can use okay and very very similar to how we inside an if condition we have a boolean expression right and or not we use it similarly we have to use the like tag expression similarly let's say these are two tags card and visa so i can use card and visa so this expression means any test case which has card and visa both only that should be run or that should be selected if you say card or visa means any test case which has either tag card or visa i told you a test case can have multiple multiple tags so we can give the expression to select a specific test case not visa any test case which doesn't have this visa tag should be selected so like this you can give more complex one using the priority you can define the priority using this itself okay so first this will run then this will run and then this will run okay so tag expression is clear so here we have to see the execution and we will see how we can give tag expression so first is through intellij so in intellij so here if you see there is something called run and if you click on added configuration this is my project j unit 5 lecture this one is the my uh, j unit 5 project so select your project and here select the tags now here inside this you can give the tag expression that's what i am doing so this is my repo and here i have selected tag and now you can give the expression here okay so like complex expression you can give and when you run it only that specific test case which match this expression will get executed so that's one way to run with the help of intellij another way is through maven plugin so within an spring boot series i have covered maven which is our i think third topic so there i have discussed the maven in depth and also i have told you about its different life cycle phases also so just to recall when you run maven install okay so all these phases run in a sequence first it will validate then it will compile then it will run the test case j unit test case or unit test case then it will convert it to jar then it verify then it will install and then deploy when you do maven deploy okay so then till deploy it will work so here if you see that there is one phase called test where test case is run so we can edit this configuration so maven sunfire plugin so we can this is the plugin right so which runs this uh, we can provide this configuration here so in this plugin we have the version this configuration and we can provide the group and give this expression whatever the expression tag expression we have to give okay so we are overriding this like whatever the test case you have to run this is the configuration apply this configuration also so when you run this command and specifically i am running this maven test itself so maven test so it will run only this phase okay so now here if you see it run two test cases one for bank one for card because that's what i have given run any test case which has either bank or card okay but here if you see that this is not how in production we work in production it is not feasible to provide an expression here because sometime you want to run all sometime you want to run with different tag expression you we don't want to hard code it in our pom okay so what's the best way the best way is to use the profile 
So if you remember from the May one, the profile is nothing but you can uh, switch. If you want to use it through runtime, we can enable this profile. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. It would be get ignored. So the same thing, the same Maven Sunfire plugin, I am using it and the groups inside a configuration, the group I have now used a placeholder. Okay, so now I have put this inside a profile. Now here, if you see what I am doing is while running the command maven test hyphen p means you want to run a profile, which profile, the profile name, this ID. So hyphen p profile tag. So now this profile got enabled means this will run. Okay. Maven test hyphen p hyphen p tag test the profile name hyphen d groups. So hyphen d is generally to set the system properties. So hyphen d groups I am setting. This is the now tag expression you can give. So now at runtime, you can define what test cases you have to run. And if you just simply run maven test, okay, it means you haven't used hyphen P means this profile is not active. So by default, it would be used in like what default is the behavior. So it will run all the tests. Okay. But if you have to do a filtering, you can enable this profile hyphen P give the profile name, which you want to enable and hyphen D system property. You want to set for this groups and provide this. Okay. So generally in production, you will see many uh, companies follow this also. Now there is something called through test suite. So that is also used for grouping and running multiple test classes together. This is also popular test suite. So test suite is also you can use a use for grouping and running multiple test classes together. So I can group all let's say bank test classes together. I can club all card test classes together. Okay. So total, let's say 30 test classes here, 20 test classes here, and I can group them. They can run together. Okay. So we can bind with the test suit that we will cover next. Okay. So test suit would be our next topic, but I hope this tagging and filtering is clear how we can tag and how to filter it. If there is any doubt, let me know. We can discuss further into the comment section. Bye.